Hi, I'm Jerry Fuller, Executive Director of the Associated Colleges of Illinois. Welcome to the fourth segment of our Business Basics series. Human Resources is the department you'll meet when you join or leave an organization, but you'll find they do much more to support management and the quality of its talent. Thank you. One of the most important things a department manager does is hire talent, but they typically don't do it alone. Let's talk about the Human Resources Department and what they do. And because you're going to be dealing with people in Human Resources, or HR, for the rest of your career, we're going to give you some tips on the best way to prepare for any job search. Years ago, Human Resources was known as the Personnel Department, or the Hiring Department the first point of entry in a department for new hires. It remains the only department in most companies that has direct contact with every employee in the company. But today, HR does so much more. Besides processing workers in and out of the organization, HR may handle such other key functions as benefits administrations, training, recruitment, union relations, and depending on how the organization's legal function is structured, legal review of all compensation contracts from the assembly line to the C-suite. Hiring is the most high-profile function of the HR department. As we've been saying, every department molds to the purpose of the organization. But HR typically coordinates with hiring managers, the people you'll actually be working for, to determine the people they'll need to hire to do a specific job. HR and hiring managers will talk about the department's needs, what kind of person would best fit the opening and precise wording to use in spreading the word about that opening. If you've read your share of job ads, an HR executive or staff member likely wrote it. You might be asking yourself, if my boss is the one hiring me, why does she need an HR department? That's a really good question because it reveals the complexity of what HR does. HR makes sure an organization's hiring, compensation, and work procedures comply with local, state, and federal laws. Most direct supervisors don't have the time or expertise to do this. They're focused on supervising you. HR creates and enforces all necessary employment procedures from the day you fill out your job application until the day you leave the organization for good. And that's a big job. By the way, it's often why you'll see the Human Resources Department under the direct supervision of your employer's top lawyer, also known as the General Counsel. One reason, as you might have guessed, is that a lot of people sue over employment issues, but that's not the only reason legal and HR work so closely. HR also works out pay, retirement and benefits packages for the entire workforce, and may supervise contract negotiations for unionized workers. These are functions that require legal review because doing these things correctly means complying with the letter of the law. As tough as getting a job can be, job candidates see the simplest end of the hiring process. You apply and if you get in for an interview, you'll be speaking to one or more people evaluating your chances. However, for HR, the screening process is considerably more cumbersome and time consuming. Any job posting may get hundreds, if not thousands, of responses. And if an opening is posted online, as many are these days, that doesn't necessarily make the process any easier for the company. In part, that's because technology makes it easier for even more people to apply. And that means both the digital and human sides of the process have to screen an enormous number of applications. So let's take a break from talking about the department and talk about you. If you're looking for a job, how do you get your resume to the top of the pile? One big hint. Check the job posting. If you're applying online, you'll need to customize both your resume and your cover letter to match the opening. You're looking for keywords, critical words that allow humans or computers to find specific information in a digital document. Think of it this way. Anytime you do a Google search, you're already using keywords, a series of specific words and phrases that allow a computer to go hunting all over the internet for the information you need. HR uses the same principle. Their automated hiring systems, or employees, search for specific keywords on your resume or cover letter to indicate whether your qualifications fit the job. 
For example, if a company is looking for a designer with advanced Photoshop skills and you have those skills, make sure you include a line about your Photoshop experience in your resume and cover letter as close to the top as possible. It'll help separate you from other applicants. One thing to remember, as you're composing your cover letter and tweaking your resume, it's not just about keywords. Remember those documents are there to tell your story and why that company should hire you. Make sure your writing is clear, your spelling is perfect, and make sure you've done your homework on your prospective employer. Organizations like to hire good candidates who understand what they do inside and out. Say this is your resume. Congratulations, you've made it to the next step, the interview process. In the next video, we're going to talk about how HR interviews candidates and how you can prepare.